you know what we're doing today. Good afternoon and good evening, park guests. It is I, your host, Brooding Gamer, here for the Animal Kingdom Disney Park. As you guys can tell so awesomely in the background there, I am super excited. This is my favorite park, of course. We've got dinosaurs, we've got yetis, we've got animals, we've got everything animal lovers could want. And of course, like I said, dinosaurs. So join Haley and I and Baby Groot as we go on our Animal Kingdom adventure. If there is one thing I suggest, by the way, look at Haley's ears. Aren't those just adorable? Anyway. Um, if there's one thing I suggest, it is always to stay on a Disney resort because you can get in early to the parks. We are getting in, I think, a half hour early. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, kid just like randomly like dancing in front of me. Um, but you get in a little early, so that's cool. So Haley and I are going straight to the islands, or well, the floating islands of Pandora because we got a hankering to ride a banshee, so let's head that way. You can actually see just the very peak of a floating mountain right through those trees. And one thing I learned while watching a lot of Disney vloggers is that Disney will create something called a keyhole. And no, it's not referenced to Kingdom Hearts, but it is a small spot where trees or buildings will separate to give you a design or to give you just enough visual to see something interesting. In this case, it was the peak of a floating mountain. So we are now venturing into Pandora. The different sound effects have kicked in. And we are now in the Valley of Moara, I believe is how you say it. Now is going to be the hard part of finding music for this part portion. Flight of Passage is a little bit on the popular side. If you guys can't tell, this is what we're getting in line for and it just keeps going and going and going and going. Listen, you can actually hear banshees up in the mountains. It is really cool. There's like all this like Navi style Pandorian kind of buildings and structures. So it's really cool. Pandora may not be for everybody, but or not Pandora, but like the Avatar series may not be for everybody, but it's still absolutely breathtaking to some and myself included.
I just saw a very strange version of a little bit of Disney magic. Sorry to get right up on the camera. But uh, everybody started cheering out of nowhere. Couldn't figure out what was going on. Come to find out this kid was being checked for his height to see if he could fit on the ride. And instead of people just, you know, walking on as they usually would, everybody started cheering for the kids. So that's like, I don't know, just really cool. I wouldn't really call it Disney magic, but it, it's, it's cute. I love that. Riding on the back of a banshee by being genetically matched and linked to an avatar. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss doctor Jackie Ogden. She leads her science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. In fact, the Na'vi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. That's why you're linking to an avatar. It was Dr. Ogden who restarted the Avatar program. It's because of her that you're able to go through this rite of passage today. Pandora is a breathtaking natural world. I cannot wait for you guys to see it for yourselves. Okay, to get you flying on a banshee, we need to find each of you an Avatar. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and in partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we 
can now bring this amazing experience to you. Once the link takes place, you'll be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an ikra. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Siva Ko, rise to the challenge. Good luck. So we just got off Avatar Flight of Passage. I'm not 100% sure. If, if I put video footage in here, that's great. That means we didn't get hit with copyright. What'd you think, babe? I liked it. She liked it. It uh, makes you feel kind of funky. And it, oh wow, my face is glistening. It is, a, it is a very good ride. Hopefully I was able to put a little bit of footage in there. But yes, absolutely amazing ride. We will definitely be riding it again before we leave today. But I think it is time to uh, check out the gift shop, which will be in a video uploaded alongside this called Shopping at Animal Kingdom. So go sure to check that out.
Ah. Not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out. Still not 
at our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Forget it! Get them out now! 